So, in this video, I would like to talk through and demonstrate palpation of bony landmarks at the foot and ankle. I'm going to start by working anterior structures and then we'll kind of make this circle all the way around so you can follow my train of thought. So, first, if I'm looking at the anterior ankle, we have two bony prominences here. So, distally, the tibia will end in the medial malleolus and the fibula will end in the lateral malleolus. So, I can palpate and come down and palpate immediately that medial malleolus and come down to the anterior portion. I can also palpate laterally the lateral malleolus and come down to the inferior portion. I can also palpate the talus, and even though that bone is deeper, the way I tend to like to find that is I'm going to locate his tibialis anterior tendon, which is pretty prominent, and I'm just going to drop my finger in medial to that. I'm also going to locate his extensor tendons, and I'm going to put my thumb, again, kind of on the outside or lateral to that. That way I can sink deep into the soft tissue structures. If I passively invert and invert his ankle, I can feel the tailor dome or the body of the talus kind of pop into my finger. So as I invert, I can feel on the, this thumb side the talus, and as I evert, I can feel the talus pop into my finger. So it's a nice way to palpate the talus. Um, on the lateral side of his ankle, I can palpate, I can follow his coming from this fifth, fifth digit the phalanges into the metatarsals. And I'm looking for here, this landmark, which is the fifth styler, the styler process of the fifth metatarsal. That's gonna be a key landmark. I can also find if I drop um, distally from that lateral malleolus, I can drop down and find the calcaneus. If I work along the border of the calcaneus and distally, I can find a little bit more firmly, I can find the cuboid bone. So that's going to be the cuboid. Uh, if I work my way around to the plantar surface of the foot, I can push deep and palpate the calcaneus. I also want to palpate some landmarks on that calcaneus. I'm going to palpate the medial calcaneal tubercle, which is going to be the insertion and the key insertions for the plantar fascia. I can palpate the lateral calcaneal tubercle and notice I'm applying a good amount of pressure to sink deep below that fat pad. If I move to the medial side of the ankle, um, you can palpate along the border of the calcaneus again, um, dropping from the medial malleolus down. One of the key landmarks I want to palpate is going to be the sustentaculum talli, or just this ledge structure, which if you think about the word, that's going to provide a shelf or an articulation with the talus and the calcaneus. Um, and it's also going to be a landmark with which tendons run underneath, so we'll discuss that in the soft tissue palpation video. I can also move um, distally, so anteromedially, and find a nice little bony prominence here. This is going to be the navicular tubercle, so I can palpate the navicular bone right in there. Um, the other things that I can palpate on the foot and ankle are going to be the metatarsals across the top of the foot through here, and then their articulations as they come down into the phalanges. So if people are having toe pain, I can definitely go through and palpate the different metatarsals, phalanges, and then these different joint areas. I won't go through each one because that's kind of tedious, but you know that those are definitely things that you're going to want to palpate if patients have symptoms there.